snow also possible Friday and then again on Sunday. There is your forecast. Let's send things over to Hacia. Thank you, Matt. There may they may be small, but they're driving a lot of owners together here in the Lehigh Valley. Eve's outside now with some local smart Alex or smart car owners to talk about the emerging brotherhood that started with the turn of a key. Eve. Yeah, Hasiel, good morning. This is the first time I've actually loved being uh, surrounded by Smart Alex. And these are good Smart Alex. They're from the Smart Alex Club of the Lehigh Valley, and they've brought their cars with us uh, or with them this morning, as you can see around us. Founder Bill Bestman is joining us, as well as some of the other members. Bill, good morning. Good morning. How so, are you? Good. How are you? Tell us a little bit about this Smart Car. Well, first of all, what is a Smart Car, Bill? A Smart Car was the concept of a Swatch Watch, com watch Company and Mercedes. And they got together and they wanted to make a car that they could change the exterior of the car uh -huh. so Rick and I could switch cars the outside of the cars on a Saturday afternoon oh after okay cars. you could just, just swap. Take all the it's like borrowing a shirt or a sweater sure. us girls can relate to that you tie to yellow you can go to blue or red well very cool and it actually st stands for something smart stands for something smart right stands for swatch Mercedes art Okay. So it was the collaboration of those two companies. Uh -huh. And then uh, Mercedes bought the Swatch out. So now it's strictly a Mercedes operation. And why did you personally get one? What, have what piqued your interest? Have fun. Have <laughs> fun. Yeah. Tell us if you would, would you take us on a little tour, sure, Bill? Yeah. And tell us some of the benefits of this smart the car. It's down on this. And if you notice, it's really very deceptive because the inside of this, if you sit in there, go sit inside. Okay. Well, and Bill, I don't want to, it's so no. clean and I have dirty feet. Oh, that's what do you right. think? Don't, don't, well, don't we'll just peek in. But, um, um, you were saying the inside is. is Go what? sit in there. You okay. gotta sit All in. All right, twist my arm. The room that's. Notice in. he holds onto the keys. He says, "Sit in it. Don't drive it." That's dangerous. Yeah, there, it's kind of a little deceiving because there is a lot of room, Once you huh? Get inside, it's, it's How do I look? Like sitting in it's a good look. Inside of a big car. Yeah, it is. So it's a two seater. Do any of them have seats in the back? No. No. They made a four door in Europe, but now they stopped making it. They also make a little Lotus type car, which is a little two-door sports car, it's uh -huh. low. And let's talk about some of the benefits. How does this compare to cars that you have, have had in the past, in your opinion? Well, of course, the mileage is, is, is a terrific thing. And here's one of the innovations. You have paddle shifting, which is uh, primarily found on Ferraris, Maseratis, cars like that. You can shift manually here with these paddles. Wow. And also automatic. So wow. it's pretty neat. Yeah, and a lot of fun. And, you know, you guys all, this is only part of the Smart Alex Club, by the way, joining us this morning. How big is the club now, There Bill? are 23 of us. 23. So we only have about eight eight members yeah. here this morning. And uh, how long is the wait to get one? They're still in high demand. It's probably around a year now. Wow. Yeah. And you're, you're sitting in a very unique car because they don't make yellow anymore. Oh, okay. So we have real collector items. And what another interesting fact is that it, it doesn't take long to make these cars, right? It takes five hours as compared to a car that's made in Detroit that takes about 25 hours. But you can see it's much smaller. So. Wow. And, and with the panels going on, and, and it's a brand new factory, so that, that aids them. And it rides pretty well? It's terrific, sure. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And everybody stops you and asks you what it is. And is it electric? Is it hydrogen? You know, so it's a lot of fun. I got it to have fun. Okay, and we should mention you do put gas in it, so yes. but it, you don't have to put that much, huh? It's gas powered. Uh, the book claims 40 to 46. Um, one of our members got uh, over 50. He wow. got 52 when we went down to Shady Maple in Lancaster for our cruise. Wow. Well, not only is the, the car uh, exciting, so is the Smart Alex Club, uh, which, of course, is bringing men and women together all over the Lehigh Valley. And coming up in just a few minutes, we'll talk about how these smart cars brought this group together that's growing by leaps and bounds here in the Lehigh Valley and across the country. That's coming up in just a matter of minutes. Stay with us. And time now to check back in with the members of the Smart Alex Car Club. Eve, you looked pretty good in that yellow car earlier. Hey, thanks. It's cute, huh? Yeah, yeah. we're we're talking about the uh, smart car craze here this morning, and I'm joined by some of my favorite Smart Alex. These are members of the Smart Alex Club of the Lehigh Valley. Only some of the 20 plus members, right, Bill? 23 members. 23 sure. members. And how quickly has this club grown? We started, uh, I'd say, in September. Okay, so pretty quickly, yeah. This year, yeah. Just in the Lehigh Valley. Alone. And are there clubs like the, like this, our club here in other parts of the country? They're starting up. Okay. Big, big, big club in Florida. Uh, they're starting one in Philadelphia. 
but it takes time, you know, and people have other things to do. And not everybody is that enthusiastic as we are yeah. about the car. They buy it for transportation. And of course, we've seen some of the enthusiasm here this morning. What do you think smart owners have in common? The smart car and the enthusiasm of having the car and the fun and, and everybody comes over and wants to know what it is and so that's 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 really a lot of fun. And you guys seem like you like to show them off and explain uh, oh, the yeah. cars to folks, right? Sure, talk to any one of these guys. And one of the things you were telling us this morning is about how quickly uh, the convertibles, in particular, the tops come down. You want to show it that sure, to us right now, have, have Angie? This is your car here, and we can see you have the B theme here, and that seems to be pretty popular. Personalizing the cars, right? So all you do here, run us through this. You press simple, a button. Simple, simple button. Opens the top. It's in two, two different variations. It goes part way there, and then you can go the full opening. Wow. And then these pan, these side rails, pop out, and they actually store in the trunk of the car. Wow, so in just a matter of minutes, and I mentioned the bees that you have. This seems to be a common theme, personalizing the smart cars, right? The owners seem to love personalizing. We love to personalize the car, yes. What are some of the other crazy things you've seen on the smart cars? Um, I, we've seen one on, on the internet that actually has a wind key on the back of the car. Oh, wow. um, somebody put a, an electric cord out the back because everybody assumes that this is an electric car, and it, it's not. It's a completely gas car. Um, so we, we do get the, all those kind of different personalizations. I have uh, Be Smart on the back of mine, and I did all the graphics on my car myself. So. And how about you, Angie? Why do you think people are going smart car crazy, it seems, at least in our area? Gas, when the gas prices were up, uh, I mean, this was incredible. And everybody stopped me at the gas station to say, you know, how many miles to the gallon do you get? And I average about 43. Mm -hmm. So um, I've seen them in Europe, and I've ever since I saw that one, I wanted one and reserved it as soon as I could. Yeah. And great for parallel parking. Absolutely. That's why I need one, I think, to get those, <laughs> get in those tiny spots. And why do you like being in the Smart Alex Club? Tell us a little bit about the club and, and why that's fun. Um, I was one of, actually one of the original ones who, who met Bill online and uh, through the Smart uh, dealership the, with their online information. And uh, it's just been great to meet everybody. You get to talk about your car. You get to see what all the little quirks are. Or is it just your car that's doing it or is other people's you know doing some things you learn things I just learned something new this morning <laughs> yeah. um, you know you just are they're just great people and we're actually meeting people from New York City from uh, York and so it seems like know. a family it is it really is yeah. and and we get to eat too okay so tell us tell us about some of the things you guys do I know you have regular rides like motorcycle rides you guys have smart car rides right yes we do and we get a lot of attention uh, a lot of people you know turning heads especially when there's like eight or twelve of us running down the road together because uh, that's very odd to see one and then let alone that many uh -huh. um, so and you mentioned eating so are there some <laughs> gatherings involved yes we were just Love at Shady that. Maple on Saturday uh, in, in Lancaster and uh, uh, we plan to do some outdoor things again this summer and uh, and some other great get together go to New York City is a, a trip we're trying to plan and and various other events. So. Great. Well, it seems like a lot of fun. And if you want to find out more about the Smart Alex Club, you can find them on Yahoo Searches. So their website, we're told, is going to be up and running soon. And yeah, thank you, Smart Alex. You guys are the nicest Smart Alex I've ever met. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. And stay tuned. We'll be right back.